Before we start actually solving this problem, let's find the angle theta for the ramp. That equals the inverse tangent of the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side. And that works out to 27.8 degrees. Now let's draw two free body diagrams, one for the crate of mass M2 and one for the system of the two crates together. There are three forces acting on crate 2. Its weight is directed straight down. There's a normal force on it, perpendicular to the surface between M1 and M2. And there's a static friction force. It's a static friction force because even though M2 is moving, it's at rest relative to the surface beneath it. M2 is not sliding across M1. It's static relative to it. That force is directed up the ramp because it opposes the motion that would happen if it wasn't there. Now let's draw the free body diagram for the system that I've outlined in blue. It creates M1 and M2 together. Their weight is directed straight down. There's a normal force perpendicular to the ramp, and that acts on crate 1, so I'll call that N1. There's a tension directed up the ramp, and there's a kinetic friction force also directed up the ramp. This is a kinetic friction force because it's the friction between crate 1 and the ramp, and those surfaces are moving relative to each other. It's directed up the ramp opposite the motion. Let's take the x direction to be up the ramp, and the y direction to be perpendicular to it. When we apply Newton's second law in the y direction to this system, we see there are two forces with components in the y direction. There's the normal force in the positive y, and there's this component of the weight. To find its magnitude, we need to deal with the angle theta. So I've drawn several thetas here, and that shows us that the y component of the weight is minus m1 plus m2 g cosine of theta. And those sum to zero because the system has no acceleration in the direction perpendicular to the ramp. This gives us an expression for the normal force acting on crate 1. Now we can sum forces in the x direction and find the tension. First notice that the x component of acceleration is also zero because the crates descend the ramp at a constant speed. And we see from the free body diagram that there are three forces with components in the x direction. Tension and kinetic friction are directed along positive x, and this component, the weight times sine of theta, is directed along negative x. And those sum to zero because there's no acceleration. We can solve this for the tension and substitute the expression kinetic friction equals mu sub k times the normal force. That's the normal force acting on crate 1, the surface where the friction is, and rearrange, substituting in all the known values. And calculating to find that the tension is 57.7 newtons. Now let me move this result up here so that we can erase all of this and make room to solve part b. In part b, we're asked to find the magnitude and direction of the friction force on the upper box. That's the box of mass m2. To find this, we'll apply Newton's second law in the x direction. Notice first that ax is 0, as before. And we see that there are two forces with components in the x direction, static friction, acts on M2, pushing it up the ramp, and there's a component of M2's weight. That's shown here with the angle theta as in the other free body diagram. So we see that's M2 g sine theta in the negative x direction, though sum to zero. So we can solve for the magnitude of the friction force and substitute all the known values. finding that it equals 146 newtons. So that's the answer to part B. The magnitude is 146 newtons, and the direction is as we've shown it up the ramp.